That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Hang on. What? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Any ideas? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Drones down, server room unlocked, and buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. Any ideas? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Unplug it and plug it back in. Got it. Close enough. to take a fucking hint. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. This one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable I'm motion sick. 
Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report, but two SIRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central court to complete the cycle. Nice work, Bagley. Now let's get this game a little bastard. With pleasure. seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. What are you waiting for? All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Die! What the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear DedSec's name. At least for this particular thing. And Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Is there a reason why we're not driving that car right into the river? Believe me, I'd love to. But he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down!
Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. We know fucking everything, Malik. You were behind the embassy bombings and all the others too. So let's hear you say it. The earlier bombings, what are you? Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the empire, I would need power and fast. You're a fucking liar. You knew about Zero Day before you approached us. I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Zero Day or not, you've done bad enough on your own. You're gonna rot in here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are. Dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why in fuck's name would I like that? Albion's always got some dirty fucking plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't buy in the drink while we plan to give Nigel Cass a beating of his fucking life. Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. 
Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Let's see it then. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. It's the place. Where's our rat? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is running late. May as well make yourself comfortable. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Only sharpens me senses, Bagley. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security... Turn up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aimed fire! Aimed fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. But we don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. To be stopped before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. Jesus fucking... Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. I sure as fuck don't believe he just naturally speaks in soliloquy. Let's snoop around that attack, Zoe. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass. No matter the cost. Timing's too bad. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. SIRS counter terror director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identities of every operative in DedSex London cell. Every year, the same old news. Exam results up, but opportunities down. Well, here at Ixatec... In breaking news, a large explosion has occurred at the Canadian High Commission in Trafalgar Square. SIRS has issued a statement that the terrorist organization DedSec is active once again after months of relative silence. If you suspect anyone of being a member of DedSec, report them to SIRS immediately using your CSE app. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. Which is exactly what you'd do if you were trying to cover something up. Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. Aren't you a handy little rover? 
There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. I'm on it. I'm going to need a bit more data if you want me to reconstruct the scene in augmented reality. That should do it. Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruction. Command authorization code Delta November Charlie North North One, Director Nigel Cass. Zone Supervisor Harris, the proposed measures will not be enough. Him yes, sir. Preparations are back on schedule. I believe the stage is ready to go up. We anticipate no more delays. Sir, all serious injuries have been evacuated to nearby hospitals as ordered. I want a full incident report ASAP. This was preventable, Harris. Human error, and it cost human lives. Innocent lives it was our duty to protect. Yes, sir. The vehicle and floor. Handle it. Gather the media. I have something that needs to be said. We failed. This should never have happened, and I plan on making sure it never happens again. Calling additional units. This does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favour of terrorism. So we had access to high-quality material. Doesn't really narrow it down. I'll see what I can dig up. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me onto Themis, my contact inside Albion. I suppose that makes sense. Man like Cass has enough people who would want to kill him anyways. No reason for him to fake it. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Could you run the plates too, Bagley? Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass did something to seriously piss this guy off. If there's mutiny afoot in Albion, we could spin that to our advantage. Let's start investigating the truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. Well, that's an ominous place for it. What would you reckon, Baggy? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Agreed.
I'm at the town site. I'm going to poke around and see if I can find the truck used in the Finsbury attack. That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. I'll see what I can dig up. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. Moving! Automate our jobs, mate. This is no joke. Director Cass. This corpse is desiccated. There's no way they had time to deal with that. Yes, from the state of decay, I'd say this person died, oh, right around the tone bombing. So that's one mystery solved. Burned up all over. Yeah, yeah, this could be our guy. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. Nothing you can't handle. I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. So, Albion's using this place to hide all their inconvenient corpses. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? You're up, Bagley. He's launched them. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse, he called them Justice Demis drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead. But he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot and... 
You always hated it when I used my big up words. I... I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom, I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me. Less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by... killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible. I'm sorry. I love you. So you're telling me Temis has been up in the sky the whole time, like little swords of Damocles, just waiting for the right upgrade to cut the horse hair? Fucking hell. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bugs boy, the Themis data we wiped the Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. Bagley. Most of the time I get you, but why would you save that? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's do it. And why did you come to Great Britain? There is war in my country. Some refugees have legitimate claim. My whole family was killed. And it's our job to find them. We're going to grant your application to stay here. Welcome to Great Britain. Thank you. 